Anybody What's your favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour Nate, Patch just name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't vegan. Hey everyone. So for this video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to do my first response video to a YouTube channel I've recently discovered, and it's absolutely awesome. The YouTube channel is called Jubilee, and they have several different formats which help us to explore complex issues within our society. Now the format of this video is called Odd Man Out. Odd person out if we want to try to dismantle the patriarchy. Now the title of the video is Six Vegans versus One Secret Meat Eater. They probably could have said non-vegan as meat eater is more of a response to a vegetarian concept, but we won't get into that. So this is my first time watching this and I'm going to watch along and see if I can identify the secret non-vegan based on a few brief interactions. And I'll be stopping it along the way to share my thoughts. Now I appreciate some of you may not like to stop watching something while you're in the middle of it. What the f So for those of you who prefer to watch the original version straight through first, I'll put the link in the description below and then you can watch this version. With that, feel free to play along. Let's see if we can figure out who the secret non-vegan is. We brought together seven vegans. I am vegan. I am vegan. I'm a vegan. I am vegan. I am a vegan. I am a vegan. I am vegan. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Okay, so right off the bat, that last individual seemed to have a bit of broken eye contact. So they're at the top of my list at the moment, but let's see what happens. The picture of her voice also sounded a bit curious at the end, almost like she was asking a question. Hey, um, vegan? I'm a vegan? Wait, am I vegan? Okay, Brandon, yes. what do you eat for breakfast? This morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot cereal, add almond milk and some water. Okay. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like, I know people do, but I'm looking at him and his body language and how he's telling me and I'm going, you just had buckwheat? <laughs> I eat buckwheat every single day for breakfast, and I feel like that's a normal thing. But everyone acted like it was a weird thing. Um, I'll be honest, I eat everything on bread. I have to. Because, like, I just, I'm a recent vegan. I've been vegan for, like, five months. It's a challenge I did for myself. I have a question. Yeah. What are y'all's favorite restaurants? If you guys check out in North Hollywood, this is, like, awesome. It's really, it's Cajun vegan. Oh yes, uh, yes. You know, um, dude, I literally been taking. Oh my gosh, I talk, I took it? my friend Hannah. Rah, She's rah, actually rah, a big rah, YouTuber something. as well. Everything that came out of his mouth was super random. Brandon, what's your favorite like, restaurant? My favorite. I go to Taco Bell all the time. What do you get at Taco Bell? I get a crunch wrap, but swap out the beef and get some beans in there. Sweet. Also swap out the sour cream and the cheese. And yeah. Don't they use eggs beans. in their like in their wraps? I hope they don't. Yeah, I hope they don't either I've, because then that wouldn't be vegan. I don't know why she was coming at me. I don't know if it's like the way I look. I don't look like a vegan. So I think that's quite interesting. How does someone look like a vegan? Because I think if it's true that people look like vegans, I think there's a chance you might be doing something wrong in the movement and sending the wrong message that we have to look a certain way. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. I felt like I was like, all right, if I mess up, I can keep on doing it. So I challenged myself on five months in, and I was like, all right, I'm going to continue doing it. Because if you I guys, don't... we have four minutes left. Sorry, oh, yeah, sorry you, about but we have four that. minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry, I want to know. The reason I did it can is you... because I wanted to. Prove can, can you? Can you? We got, we got it. Sorry about Let's that. go around. Yeah. Jalen was just taking up all the time so that I couldn't find any information about anybody. I'm vegan because of the environment. I think the meat and dairy industry just contributes way too much to our environmental issues, and so that's why I decided to go vegan. I've been vegan for almost three years. I kind of just followed like blogs and stuff, and then I found out I had like high cholesterol. I like cold turkey, just like quit it. The more I learned about it and educated myself, the more I wanted to keep going. All right, so Shireen again is coming out very suspicious to me. Her answer almost seems a bit manufactured and not that authentic. I suppose we also have to ask ourselves if saying cold turkey is vegan. Seriously though, I think this highlights an important issue that um, speciesism is prevalent throughout our language and we have to be very mindful to um, try to remove this to help dismantle speciesism. I initially went vegan for my health, for my skin, 
it's kind of helped. It hasn't helped that much, but I think just when I was doing it, I was like, why go back? Kind of like you, like I could do it. And I don't think there was a huge like pressing environmental factor. It was just like, I can do it right now. So why exactly go back? Doing. And it's like being good. So it's almost been like a year. So kind of similar to you. Good, good job, yeah. man. I uh, became vegan for um, animal cruelty reasons. It's a whole bunch of stuff, you know, you can go into. But yeah, for animal reasons and environmental reasons and health reasons. Okay, Patty is also pretty high on my list right now because that again, while those reasons are very valid, it looks like something that would come up on a Google search in about 30 seconds. So to me at this point, Shireen and Patty are at the top of the list for uh, people who I think are the secret non-vegan. So I've been vegan for almost 10 years combined. Um, started off when I was 21 years old. I was drinking heavily and I just wanted to be feeling like better in my body. So I took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food chef. I'm a yoga teacher now, um, yeah. I went vegan kind of as like a transition. I was pescatarian for 10 years. Um, and we have two minutes. Um, I so. want to come, we ask, oh, not, I don't want to cut you off, yeah. but I want to ask specific Sorry. questions to people. But. What is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the? Oh, Help Me Go Vegan? I kind of watch like those YouTube ones. Which ones? Like what, what name one? I don't remember the names. I like saw them in the blogs that I was talking about and like. Which blog? Um, it was called, it was like this girl, her name is Emma. I gave her the side, I like, hmm, you don't know what blog, you don't know what post, you don't know this, you don't know, you don't know anything. So yeah, again, unless she is a bit flustered, Shireen is coming across as incredibly inauthentic here and not much to back up her story. I watched the VR. This actually helped encourage me. And I watched um, from a first person perspective. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, um, cows getting oh, butchered. No. From, you could see them getting cut up. Six, Red five. Light. So like that Four, was three. really traumatizing. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> She had a little more makeup on and she had nail polish on and so I guess in my head I think vegans just go for the more natural sort of look. So there's again another interesting observation about how vegans should look a certain way which I personally think we should try to move away from. I was like looking for some cues and like what people were wearing and he was wearing like suede shoes. Most like vegans don't really wear leather. So again here I think Shireen's kind of showing her cards here. So if someone is wearing shoes that look like suede, there's two possible explanations for this. One, it could be a vegan version of suede. And two, they could have bought the shoes before they went vegan and um, chosen to um, continue wearing them until they wear out or at some other point in time. Personally, I just gave away all the shoes I had that uh, contain the skin from cows on them because the idea just didn't sit right with me. I appreciate new vegans might have different perspectives on this, and it may not always be practical to turn over an entire wardrobe, especially when we may have 50 pairs of shoes in the closet. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. It was Bye. Nice Bye. to know you guys. <laughs> Take it easy. I was really shocked. I think I was a little bit shy in the beginning. When Aaron was grilling me, um, I just got really nervous. And like, I forgot the names of everything and I was like, there's cameras here and like, everyone's watching me and like, the time is ticking. So now I don't know, Aaron could be the secret non-vegan. Vegans wouldn't exactly grill other human animals, would we? <laughs> and then a wheel of laugh, high five. <laughs> what is your favorite soap that you use? Oh my gosh. I'm more vegan for like food related reasons. Maybe right, but stuff. typically like if you're vegan, yeah, then you know, know you use all your products I... that you use love. So I think this is a really interesting distinction because a number of these people who may have identified as vegan for the show may actually be more plant-based, which when it comes to the health or the environment is typically more the case. And it's not until we may align on the ethical implications that we look at all aspects of animal use in our life and try to prevent all rights violations. I identify as vegan, but I do it more so for food-related reasons, not exactly, because I like did it for my health. So I that's actually why. fully agree with you. Actually. Yeah. Do you wear leather? Uh, I don't own leather. Period. It's interesting. I own leather, but I don't buy leather. It's leather that has been bought years ago that I still have that mm -hmm. I feel is kind of like wasteful to like throw away. The important thing is you don't buy yeah. leather because we vote with our dollars. Exactly. So this to me is pretty convincing evidence that Patty is actually vegan because I don't think many of us think about voting with our dollars before we go vegan. My gut says the secret non-vegan was Shireen, but I could be wrong, so let's keep watching.
I think like in this circle, like there would still be people who like identify themselves as vegan, even if it's like food related or like something else. Like the range, just like but there's like levels, yeah. Yeah, but I think like the on man out wouldn't be someone who like yeah. is like me, like just doing it for food. Yes, yeah, yeah. You guys ask me questions too. I like questions. We know you do. Do you eat honey? <laughs> do you, I actually, don't even. Like, I don't eat honey. True. Yeah, I, I don't. I just don't at all. I eat honey, but honey isn't vegan. I think they made me feel like my reason for being a vegan wasn't good enough because it wasn't coming from the same place that they were. So I think this could actually be a start to a really good conversation for people that come to um, more of a plant-based diet for health to help them bridge that gap to the ethical discussion because then I think the talk around honey and other things becomes a bit more clear when we align on the whole concept of other animals being someone versus something that we can use however we want. I have a question. Yeah. So, okay, everyone think about their immediate circle. How many folks in your circle are vegan? I'm supported by my circle. Yeah. Like, they thought I was unhealthy at first because mm. I wasn't getting enough to eat. They didn't think you're getting enough protein, did they? Mm -hmm. um, and I had horrible gas issues. Um, that was that was I was bad. But um, <laughs> I mean, it's I actually real didn't dog. even know that was a thing. So, it's, it's, like, it's I mean. real dog. So the whole gas thing, I think, is a bit funny. For me, this was more of an issue at first, as I was incorporating uh, more fiber. But it's much better now. It's much better now, isn't it? It's not so bad. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. So far, you've said that you don't really consider yourself vegan I think because if I of were the products you use, yeah. and I then you like eat a Taco lying, Bell. I would like go like the extra mile and like lie and like say a lot of stuff. But, <laughs> you know, like I'm just like being real with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I. See, so, yeah, I think this is a great example where someone mostly aligns with a plant-based diet for their health, and we can positively praise them for that, and then set that end goal of respecting others' rights through veganism. I'm Try my best. So to how many like be a how vegan. many years have you been vegan? Oh no, it's been like less than a year, like eight months. Actually, the, the fresco style at Taco Bell is supposed to be vegan. I, he didn't mention that. He said that he got the taco and then he removed everything and then yeah. he mentioned that later on. I have seen vegan YouTubers who like go to Taco, Taco Bell like and like can make it vegan, vegan just to show yeah. people that like it can be About like convenient. Minutes, I don't know why you guys are <laughs> oh, just, trying to yeah, tell me about it. We have yeah. two minutes and left. Del Taco yeah. also has Del Taco has the Beyond Meat. Why don't you go there if you're vegan? I thought Aaron was pretty aggressive, but in all the best ways for a game like this, like she asked all the like heavy hitting questions, which is exactly um, how it should have been. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one. Name one. Nerd Sour Make Patch name Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. I thought they were, but no, do they cute. not have? Do they have gelatin no, in them? I okay, maybe I'm not. A vegan. I don't <laughs> like. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I thought they were. But I mean, you know. What's your favorite candy? I don't eat candy. Really? Same. Yeah, I don't. So it'd be really interesting how they draw the line here because it sounds like Brandon is actually trying to be vegan or probably more accurately plant-based. However, he's not quite there, and and they're catching him out on this. However, I don't necessarily believe he's the secret non-vegan. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because typically when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. Bye guys. Bye Brandon. See ya. I'm not like really a part of the vegan community, I feel like. I have one vegan friend. I could have had five vegan friends, but they voted me out, so. <laughs> <laughs> So I think Brandon's actually made a really interesting point there. I think by being part of a community, either um, locally or online, that's a big help to try to figure out some of these questions. And probably more important than that is just to provide a support network as we're going through this uh, not yet vegan world. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. I'd say I'm about 97% that it was Shireen, so I would probably choose to end the game now. When you when you start I questioning think it's Brandon, too early look, look, look. to tell. I think those were the obvious ones. Oh, it's true. Yeah. 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 So, and yeah. we need like one yeah. more. Like, Wait. So we raise our hand if we think he's still in here. Yeah. I think they might.
I don't know. <laughs> she was like doubt, and I was like, oh, I don't know. But no, I think no. Okay. Raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the square. If the lights turn green, you voted the liar out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box, and you lose. Okay, everyone looks nervous, so I feel a little bit more secure in this. Oh, no! Dang, oh. I found the mole. Oh, Uh, <laughs> so upset. I literally whispered to Aaron, I think it's Jalen, I think it's Jalen. So I'm a little mad, a little sour, a little broke. <laughs> I watched too much Survivor, man. Like, <laughs> So looking back, I did think that at the beginning it was a bit suspicious how they were um, giving those long answers to help um, use up time, it seemed like. However, I was willing to look past that because they seemed pretty sincere, but it turns out they're just a really good liar. Also, looking back, the bit about eating everything on bread was a bit suspicious. I have to admit, I believed him. I know when I started living vegan, I literally just ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I thought it was pretty believable. And when they mentioned the VR footage, I thought this was pretty convincing, but it turns out they uh, either have vegan friends or just did their homework. Having volunteered with Animal Equality in the past, I probably should have also picked up on the details they were describing about the video with cows not being all that accurate. First round, getting thrown in, I was tested to see if I was going to trip up on my words, how much knowledge I actually had. Because I'm like, if I go first, I can speak the most and make it seem like an accident. So I just want time to run out. So it felt good because people got annoyed and they didn't want to hear from me. So they pushed me aside and started talking to everybody else. I got one from my fam, I got one from my fam, I got one from me, one from my new Xbox, all right. I'm pretty frustrated because I think I could have won if I hadn't just been affected by everybody else's doubtfulness. I was um, reminded of the different perspectives of veganism. I don't think you can really like see a vegan, it's more like their thoughts and like their ideology and how they think about the world. So I think that's a great point that there's different perspectives when it comes to veganism. And I think it's also important to remember that we can't actually be 100% vegan in a world that's not yet vegan. So I think that's where some of these questions may have caught people out that may be working on um, becoming vegan and may just not be quite there yet. I also think it's worth noting that we don't necessarily change who we are when we go vegan. My personal experience is that I feel more aligned with who I am now than I ever did before. I think for a lot of us who now align with veganism, there's a good chance that it was always at our core and we've just chosen to live in alignment with that. So yeah, I really recommend um, checking out that Jubilee YouTube channel. I've been binge watching a lot of their content. It's a great way to explore uh, complex situations within our society in a variety of interesting formats. Let us know if you guessed the secret non-vegan correctly in the comments. And if you have any other ideas for upcoming videos, um, be sure to let us know that as well. Especially if you want to see more of Dexter. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. On personnel, if we want to try to dismantle the hierarchy. Ugh. Or perhaps we should say non-vegan, because meat eaters a vegetarian concept. Or perhaps we should... Or perhaps we should... Or perhaps they should have said... Or perhaps they should... <laughs> or perhaps they could have said non-vegan, as meat eaters a vegetarian concept, but we don't... We won't... Or perhaps they should... <laughs> I think I was a little bit shy in the beginning when Aaron was grilling. Back up, guys. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, man, my camera's about to die. All right, so XXX, we are going to need to reset the main camera that has the audio, which is quite important. So let's get a new battery, and we'll be back up and running. The movie you recorded exceeded the 4 gig limit. It was split into two files. I didn't tell you to stop recording though. You, you just already hit the halfway mark? Jeez. All right, let's try again. All right, so those actually should be pretty close. So in order to sync the two new video files, not the root file on my computer, this will be fun to edit. X, X, X marks the spot between those two cameras and maybe the third. 
Those lights are doing my eyes in. All right. So I'm not necessarily saying I recommend it. <clears throat> yeah, let's just leave the Taco Bell out of it. The whole vegan and capitalism, I don't want to get into that. That's gonna be a whole, that, that can be a whole separate video. Hey, Decky, you wanna watch with me? Yeah? Yeah, okay, come on. Watch the rest of it with me, hey, buddy? Yeah, you wanna watch the rest of it with me? I think Erin's suspicious, she's grilling everyone, which isn't vegan, and she seems really defensive. Alright, so that's Dexter's take. Do you want to miss out on the next video? Do you want to next- Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe video- Subscribe button. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Be sure to hit that subscribe button- I can't talk, can I? I've got a good one. Let's try one more. Come on, man. The next video is going to be more exciting than that. You can't yawn on camera. People are going to think that I'm boring you. I also think it's worth pointing out that we don't necessarily change who we are when we're vegan. If anything, for me, I feel like I'm more who I am you're who you really are, aren't you? Thanks for watching, and for more resources and support, check out veganinteractions.com and check out Challenge 22 on Facebook for free support to get started with veganism.